Hey, this is Scott Olikowski, and I've been asked by the team here at Plex to record a video for Plex Pro Week. And I'm super excited because if there's one thing that there's a chance that I'm a pro at, it might be Plex. So for those of you who don't know me, I'm actually one of the co-founders here at Plex. I've been using this thing for a little while and, uh, and helped run the product team here that uh, puts together the system and, and makes all the decisions that either that you love and sometimes that you hate um, and try to make the best possible streaming solution that we can. So for my video, looking at um, you know, all the different you know, possibilities for PlexPass, the area that I find myself gravitating towards, and maybe because I'm a nerd, maybe because um, you know, we've got some heavy usage uh, with my family. I've got uh, five kids, my wife and I do, and uh, guess what? Everybody uses it. Everyone uses it a whole lot from all over the place. I have several uh, off in college in Boston, Chicago, and California, and uh, I have some at home here, and uh, all of them have been trained to uh, be my little beta testing unit. So um, one of the things that I um, find pretty useful in monitoring that usage and understanding what's going on is some of the uh, monitoring and dashboard tools. Um, the dashboard in Plex Web, as well as the, the special bespoke app Plex Dash that we use for monitoring on our mobile devices. So the things that I'm looking for typically is I want to understand, you know, is the, how's the system being utilized? How's my server doing? Um, am I running into performance issues? Are you running into storage issues? Am I running into um, the ability to transcode, you know, in hardware and software and different things? And trying to be able to, you know, get an idea what the, uh, what's taxing the system. And I'm also personally able to run really early versions of the software. And that means that... <clears throat> I'm looking for bugs. I'm looking for issues that the folks that are using my system are stress testing and hopefully catch them before they, they hit the public. And uh, so I'm, I'm constantly looking at, you know, how is, you know, what are people streaming? What type of transcodes are they requiring? Are they burning in subtitles or not? Is it um, something maybe HDR going to SDR? Is it something 4K going, you know, to a mobile device? Um, on some side of some sort of cellular connection, I don't know. So I'm, I'm constantly trying to understand how the system being utilized and if it's working well. Um, I can walk through a couple examples here of, of what I'm looking at, and, uh, and you'll see that some of the PlexPass versions of these uh, monitoring tools just have a little bit more to show us, and the PlexDash app itself is a PlexPass app that I find extremely handy. So let me switch over and I'll show you some of that. So from my web browser using the Plex web app, I can actually navigate to you know, the home screen here and I can see exactly how many different users are streaming from my server at any given time. And from there, I can quickly dive in and head to the dashboard. And the dashboard here is gonna give me an idea who's playing what, I can get some you know, deeper detail here on what's being transcoded, maybe why. Um, and uh, you know, even figure out how far someone is into things. If sometimes if I need to you know, take the server down, I may need to figure out, well, I'll let that person finish their episode. <laughs> it's handy uh, in that way. Um, I can also get an idea, how am I doing on bandwidth? You know, am I running into uh, issues with bandwidth, or you know, are the users going to be struggling with that or not? Um, same thing with CPU and RAM. Um, but it also gives me an idea, you know, who are my top users? What type of stuff are they, are they actually watching? Um, and I even, you know, get a sense on, you know, what the actual uh, makeup of TV versus music uh, might be uh, being played off that server. And if I want, I can start looking into, you know, what are the top movies and TV and artists that are being played. So for me, the extra detail that the Plex Pass gets me on this dashboard screen is worth its weight in gold. It just gives me a much better visibility into, you know, how the server's being used, how um, when people do have issues, I can correlate it perhaps with some combination of, you know, what they're playing, what the transcode reason was, what their client is that I can see easily on here, or um, maybe what the format of the original file was, et cetera. So for me, it gives me a sense on server utilization, you know, am I running into resource issues, but also that next layer of detail on if someone's having a problem, maybe where that problem is. So for me, it's an all-in-one great dashboard for understanding how the server's being used and, uh, and what issues uh, I maybe can address and solve through various different means. Okay. Here's the Plex Dash app on my iPhone. The app requires a Plex Pass, but with it, I can access information about my server, its libraries, and a bunch of other cool influence stats that I can readily access from just about anywhere. I can even remotely initiate a library scan or look at the watch history for a specific library. It's super handy. 
Switching over to the settings area, from here, I can dive into a bunch of other info. Um, we got some information like the bandwidth graphs, and you, know, you can see here, I can get into seeing what the processor usage and the memory usage of the server is at any given time, and a little bit of history there. Um, but I can also even check out my server logs remotely. The app lets me search for individual items on the server, which is handy, but more important to me is the now playing area where I can see what is currently being streamed by my family and even get a peek at if they are direct playing, transcoding, see what the input and output specs are, et cetera. And this helps me figure out if there may be an issue, especially because I'm often running alpha builds. It's a good early warning system for us. Now, the top charts area also gives me an idea of what the most streamed content is from any specific library. It's kind of fun to see what I've been digging or what others are on my server. So that's a quick rundown of you know, one of my favorite PlexPass features. I'm sure you, know, you saw throughout the week a whole bunch of other great ones. Um, and hopefully, you know, over the next you know, several months here, we got a couple interesting ones in the works. So um, look forward to sharing that with you. And uh, would love to kind of see your comments and see what you guys think and where we can improve the dashboard capabilities of Plex. Thanks a lot.